Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you how to crochet this beret. It's 10 inches in diameter, the pattern is very easy to follow, and the size is also adjustable. Any yarn would do for this pattern. The recommended hook size for this one is 4.5mm. We'll start with the magic ring. Chain 1. In this loop, work 14 double crochets. Pull this loop tight to close the ring. Skip the chain one and make a slip stitch in the first double crochet. Chain two. In the first double crochet, make a front post double crochet. So we're going to go around it like this and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just like you would a regular double crochet. In the same stitch, work a back post double crochet. Yarn over, and go from the back around the post it looks like this from the other side and pull up a loop and finish the double crochet so that's a front pose double crochet and a back pose double crochet in one stitch. In the next stitch, do the same. A front pose double crochet. And a back pose double crochet in the same stitch. After you insert a hook, you can flip your work and then pull up a loop. That way you can see more clearly where you're going. Then go ahead and finish this double crochet. So we're going to go around the circle and put one front post and one back post in the same stitch. So we turn 14 stitches into 28 stitches.
then skip the chain two and make a slip stitch in the first front post of crochet. Chain two again to start the next round. So whenever we see a front post double crochet, we put a front post double crochet in it. And in the back post double crochet of this round, we make an increase by putting two back post double crochets. That's one, and do one more in the same stitch. The next one is a front post, so we put a front post in it. Then two back post double crochets in the next back post double crochet stitch. Repeat this step for the entire round. For the last two back post double crochets, we're going to include this chain two and work around these two together. So make two back post double crochets. Then skip the chain two and make a slip stitch in the front post double crochet. Next round, a front post double crochet in the front post. And then work two back posts in the first back post stitch and one back post in the second one. Do the same thing for the next three stitches. One front post in the front post, two back post in the first back post and one back post in the second back post. Work a back post double crochet around the last back post double crochet and the chain two. Skip this chain two and make a slip stitch.
the next round after the front post double crochet make an increase by working two back post double crochets in the next stitch then one back post in each back post double crochet left. Let's do one more section together. One front post in the front post Two back post in the back post one back post in the next back post. and one back post in the last back post double crochet stitch. So go ahead and finish the last stitch. Slip stitch to complete this round. You can probably guess the pattern by now. We always do one front post for the front post double crochet and make an increase in the next stitch which means we do two back post in the next stitch then we have three back posts left and we do one back post in each of them Then repeat the pattern, one front post, two back post here, and then for the rest stitches, one back post in each of them. Make a slip stitch here to finish this round. And the next round should be one front post in the front post, two back posts in the first back post and then four back posts in these four stitches one in each of them so just keep increasing in each round following this pattern you don't have to count the rounds because we can tell by the number of the back post stitches so i'll come back and show you where i'm up to so this is where I am. Between two front post double crochets, I have 10 back post double crochets. And this circle is now 25 centimeters in diameter. Next, we will do one more round without any increase. So that would mean the back post stitch right after the front post double crochet we only put one back post double crochet in it. Then again, one front post in this one and one back post in every single one of these back post double crochets. Include the chain two in the last back post double crochet. Then we've reached the widest part of the beret. Then we're gonna decrease from the next round. For a front post double crochet, 
we still make one front post in it. And make the decrease in the next two stitches. So yarn over, back post double crochet in the first stitch, pull through two once, then yarn over, back post double crochet in the next stitch, pull through two first, and then pull through three. So we turn two stitches into one. And then work one back post double crochet in the next eight stitches. Let me show you again. Back post double crochet in the first back post double crochet. Pull through two once, then yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through all. So we will do this decrease in every first two back post double crochets right after the front post double crochet. So I have finished this round and this is the second decreasing round. Work the first two stitches together again. That's the first one, so go around it. and the second one. Then we have seven stitches left. Work one back post double crochet in each of them. One front post double crochet and then a decrease work these two stitches together so I'll keep repeating this making a decrease in the first two back post double crochets until it can fit around my head loosely when it's not stretched. Because when we finish this beret, the sprem won't be as stretchy and it's a little smaller than the last round as well. I kept decreasing until I have three stitches between two front post double crochets. And to be honest, when I finish this beret, it's a little tight for me and I had to stretch it pretty hard to be able to put it on. So you might want to do maybe one or two rounds fewer than me. So after you stop decreasing, do five rounds of single crochet. So I'm going to chain one and starting from the front post double crochet, make one single crochet in each stitch of this round. This is one stitch, so one single crochet.
when you finish the last stitch, slip stitch in the first single crochet. Then chain one and start the second round of single crochet. Do four more rounds like this. So five rounds in total. I kind of like how the edge looks, so I'm going to leave it like this. If you want a more finished look, then you can do a round of reverse single crochet. Just type in reverse single crochet, and I'm sure you'll find many tutorials on YouTube. So after the slip stitch, we can fasten off and weave in the end. Lastly, we will do the stock. I think that's what it's called. So chain 11. And from the second stitch from the hook, Put one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. and fold it in half and sew it on the braid then it's done so that's it for this tutorial if you like this consider subscribe i hope you all have a great day and thank you for watching i'll see you next time